Like any star, it will run out of fuel in its core, and it starts changing, it starts bloating, and getting so large that it will engulf the orbit of Mercury and Venus and come very close to Earth. So imagine looking on the horizon and sunrise is half the sky. In the vast expanse of the cosmos, where unimaginable forces shape our universe, an event of cosmic proportions has occurred. Betelgeuse, a celestial giant that has dominated the night sky for eons, has unleashed a cataclysmic explosion, shaking the foundations of our understanding of stellar evolution. What led to this dramatic eruption? And just how does it reshape our knowledge of the life cycles of massive stars? Join us as we delve into the shocking aftermath of this cosmic event and explore the mind-bending questions it raises. Betelgeuse, the dazzling star with its radiant ruby-red glow, can be easily seen in the upper right shoulder of the winter constellation, Orion, which represents the mighty hunter. While it is the second brightest star in Orion, coming right after the brilliant blue supergiant Rigel, it carries the prestigious name Alpha Orionis, which signifies its role as the most shining star in the constellation. What makes this star truly fascinating is not only its ever-changing nature, but also its captivating name. These qualities have made it a subject of great interest for astronomers and stargazers alike. Despite Rigel's brighter shine, stars with the Alpha designation are typically the brightest in their respective constellations. As Alpha Orionis, it has earned its place as one of the most renowned stars, captivating us with its luminosity, colossal size, and enchanting reddish hue. This supergiant star occupies a special position in the night sky. It ranks as the seventh brightest star visible from vast regions of North America, Europe, and Canada, illuminating the darkness with its brilliance. When considering the entirety of the night sky, it holds the impressive title of being the tenth brightest star overall. Its name originates from an Arabic phrase that translates to the armpit of the giant, adding a touch of ancient allure and mystery to its celestial presence. This star has been puzzling scientists for a while. They haven't quite figured out how far away it is from Earth, but they think it's somewhere between 430 and 724 light years away. Betelgeuse is like a shining beacon, being the brightest and closest red supergiant star to our planet. You won't find many stars like this one in our galaxy. It's one of only 200 red supergiants detected. Imagine a star that's massive, around 16 and a half times bigger than our sun. It blazes with a powerful light, having 126,000 times the brightness of our sun. From a distance of 548 light years, you can still spot this giant star twinkling in the night sky. Interestingly, Betelgeuse is actually cooler than our sun. Its surface temperature is around 3,600 Kelvin. Despite being a bit cooler, it is incredibly brilliant. But here's the fascinating part. Only about 13% of its radiant energy is visible light that our eyes can see. If we could see light at all wavelengths, Betelgeuse would appear even brighter than the famous star Sirius in our night sky. But that's not all that makes it amazing. Its size is truly mind-boggling. It has a radius that's about 764 times larger than the radius of our sun. If we could magically replace our sun with this colossal star, it would extend far beyond the asteroid belt and reach all the way to Jupiter in our solar system. Our little Earth, along with Mars, Mercury, and Venus, would be engulfed and surrounded by the vastness of Betelgeuse. Every 10,000 years, this supergiant star goes through a remarkable event. It starts shedding its outer layers, losing an astonishing amount of mass equivalent to the entire mass of our sun. Imagine a star losing that much material. This shedding creates a breathtaking cloud of material that surrounds it, forming a magnificent nebula that captures our attention and sparks our imagination. It's truly a sight to behold. The material is expelled chaotically, spreading out in all directions from the star. This uneven expulsion creates a cloud that is an astonishing 250 times larger than Betelgeuse itself. To put this into perspective, imagine a gigantic cloud stretching across a distance of 30 times the distance between the Sun and the Earth. That's how vast this nebula is. Now, let's take a step back and understand the life cycle of a star. Stars are born from clouds of hydrogen gas in space. Under the intense force of gravity, the hydrogen atoms in the star's core begin to fuse, creating a powerful nuclear reaction. 
This fusion process generates tremendous amounts of heat and light energy, like a massive explosion at the star's core. This energy radiates outwards, reaching the star's surface, and escapes into space as tiny particles of light called photons. This is what makes stars shine so brightly in the night sky. However, as time passes, the star ages, and its primary fuel, hydrogen, starts running out. At this point, a new process begins. With the hydrogen fuel diminishing, the star's core starts fusing helium atoms. This fusion of helium produces even more energy, sustaining the star for a while longer. But eventually, even the helium supply is depleted, and the star begins to combine helium with carbon. As this fusion process continues, it releases less and less energy. Interestingly, the story doesn't end there. When the helium is exhausted, the star will continue its fusion journey by combining neon with carbon. This fusion process keeps the star alive for a little longer until something remarkable occurs. When the fusion of neon and carbon reaches a critical point, instead of releasing energy, it starts absorbing it. This means that the star can no longer maintain its equilibrium. Something catastrophic occurs without the energy from fusion counteracting the star's immense gravity. The star, unable to withstand its gravity, collapses in on itself, resulting in a colossal explosion known as a supernova. In the case of Betelgeuse, when iron starts to fuse, it signals the beginning of its collapse. The intense gravitational forces become too overwhelming for the star to resist, causing it to implode and unleash a dazzling supernova explosion. This explosion is a cosmic spectacle, spreading vast amounts of energy and heavy elements and creating the building blocks for new stars and planets. Consider the concept of a supernova, an extraordinary cosmic explosion that stands as one of nature's most formidable occurrences. It unleashes an immense quantity of energy to such an extent that it can produce power equivalent to that of 10 billion suns. This represents an astronomical magnitude of energy. Now, stars are not static, they change and evolve. They go through different stages in their development and their colors change accordingly. The youngest and hottest stars appear blue, while the older and cooler ones appear red. It's like stars have their fashion show, with colors representing their age and stage of life. Interestingly, a Greek scholar, Ptolemy, who lived centuries ago, described the star Betelgeuse as ruddy, how people from different times and cultures observed and interpreted the same celestial objects is fascinating. On the other hand, Chinese astronomers saw it with a yellow appearance, which suggests that it may have been a yellow supergiant in the past. It's like it underwent a color transformation, like a chameleon changing its skin color. Despite being relatively young, only about 10 million years old, larger stars like Betelgeuse burn through their hydrogen fuel much faster and have shorter lifespans. Betelgeuse is reaching the end of its existence like an aging superstar who has given its all on the stage. In contrast, our Sun, which is about 5 billion years old, is still in its prime. It has been shining steadily, providing us with warmth and light for billions of years, and it has more to give. Because it is approaching its life's end, scientists believe it may explode in a supernova one day. When exactly this will happen is a matter of debate among experts. It's like waiting for a grand finale where the star will unleash its tremendous energy in a spectacular display. But that's not all. This star has its rhythm, experiencing cycles of dimming and brightening. Every five years, for around 100 days, it goes through this cycle. It's like the star is dancing, expanding and contracting, altering its diameter and average temperature with each step of the cycle. It's a cosmic dance of light and energy. This magnificent star caught the attention of astronomers when it started fading irregularly in 2019 and 2020. However, it later regained its usual brightness, causing speculation about its fate. Scientists believe that this unusual behavior may indicate that it is approaching the end of its life. The study of Betelgeuse has been a topic of interest for astronomers since ancient times, dating back to the first century BCE. But why did it suddenly dim, deviating from its typical cycle? The answer lies in its tumultuous journey through space. The supergiant star was expelled from its original home in the Orion OB-1 Association, which is where the famous stars in Orion's belt reside. It is now traveling through the vast expanse of interstellar space at a mind-boggling speed of 30 kilometers per second. As it races through space, it creates a massive bow shock, a shock wave caused by its movement, spanning over four light years in width. Measuring the distances to stars like this one is challenging in astronomy. 
Determining its diameter has proven difficult due to several factors, one of which is that Betelgeuse is a pulsating star, meaning its size fluctuates over time. Additionally, its optical emissions change colors and decrease in intensity as you move away from its center due to a phenomenon called limb darkening. This makes it difficult to define a distinct edge for the star, but it doesn't end here. It's likewise surrounded by a circumstellar envelope, a cloud of material expelled from the star that emits and absorbs light. This envelope further complicates the task of defining the star's photosphere, the region where most of its light is generated. As a result, the apparent size of Betelgeuse appears to change depending on the wavelength of light observed, making comparisons between different observations challenging. To add to the intrigue, in July 2009, the European Southern Observatory released images captured by the ground-based Very Large Telescope Interferometer that revealed a massive gas plume extending 30 astronomical units from it into its surrounding atmosphere. This plume, one of several observed in Betelgeuse's atmosphere, was so immense that its length corresponded to the distance between the Sun and Neptune. Astronomers have been studying this star closely and made some fascinating discoveries. They have found not just one, but at least six shells that are orbiting around Betelgeuse-like cosmic rings. But here's where things get interesting. Betelgeuse is a massive star, and scientists are trying to figure out what causes these gigantic stars to meet their sad demise. They believe that if they can understand why stars lose so much mass in the final stages of their existence, they might uncover the secrets behind the fate of this star and other stars like it. In addition to its size, astronomers are also puzzled by the complex dynamics of Betelgeuse's extended atmosphere. They are trying to unravel the mysteries of how this atmosphere behaves and changes over time. Red supergiants like this play a crucial role in the recycling of matter in galaxies. Although we don't know exactly how they lose mass, their actions contribute to creating new stars and the building blocks of galaxies. But there's hope on the horizon. Thanks to advancements in a technique called interferometry, astronomers are making significant progress in solving this cosmic puzzle. They are getting closer to overcoming the dilemma of understanding the mass loss in stars like Betelgeuse. Using powerful telescopes like the Hubble Space Telescope and others, astronomers were able to observe something extraordinary in 2019. Betelgeuse expelled a massive amount of material from its visible surface in a surface mass ejection event. This has never been observed before in the behavior of a star. It's like the star had a powerful sneeze, but on an astronomical scale. By comparison, our Sun also has its little atmospheric tantrums called coronal mass ejections. These are when the Sun releases bits of its outer atmosphere, called the corona. However, the CMEs from the Sun are much weaker than what was seen on Betelgeuse. In late 2019, something unusual began happening to Betelgeuse. It started to lose its brightness, becoming dimmer than before. By February 2020, it had lost around three times more brightness than usual, causing astronomers to take notice. During this time, a massive event called a surface mass ejection occurred on it. This event released an incredible amount of material, about 400 billion times more than a typical coronal mass ejection. The ejection caused it to lose even more brightness, making it appear dimmer to observers on Earth. However, after a period of constant brightness for about 10 days, Betelgeuse started to brighten once again. It seemed like the dimming event was coming to an end. Astronomers speculated that the recent visual fading was not connected to an impending core collapse, as there were no significant changes in the infrared observations. Further research suggested that the dimming was most likely caused by large-grain circumstellar dust blocking the star's light. Scientists were puzzled by this and started investigating what could be causing the star's fading. After careful research, they found that it wasn't a simple case of dust blocking the star's light as they initially thought. They used special instruments to measure different types of light, including very tiny wavelengths called submillimeter wavelengths. Surprisingly, the measurement showed that dust absorption wasn't the main reason for the dimming. Instead, they made a fascinating discovery. Enormous dark spots on Betelgeuse's surface were responsible for the star's fading. As astronomers continued their observations, they stumbled upon something even more intriguing. On August 30th, 2020, they detected a brand new cloud of dust coming from it. This dust cloud was directly linked to a significant decrease in the star's brightness. 
scientists proposed that the dust was formed because of a cold spot on Betelgeuse's outer layer called the photosphere. The theory goes like this, as this supergiant star cooled down, it emitted gas into space. Millions of kilometers away from the star's surface, this gas material started to cool and come together, forming the fading dust cloud. Imagine tiny particles of this dust, slowly compacting and blocking the star's light from reaching us here on Earth. Betelgeuse's photosphere is several times heavier than our moon. To give you an idea of the scale, it's a colossal surface. The cooling and compacting process caused the photosphere to break apart, and the scattered pieces flew off into space, forming a dust cloud that obstructed the star's light. During this time, even casual sky watchers noticed the changes in Betelgeuse's brightness, which started in late 2019 and lasted for a few months. In addition to the fading, astronomers observed that its 400-day pulsation rate, a regular cycle of expansion and contraction, had stopped. This disruption clearly indicated the magnitude of the event occurring on the star's surface. As the dust began to dissipate, Betelgeuse started to regain its strength. The photosphere, the star's visible surface, started to renew itself. However, the star's natural cycle was disrupted, causing tremors and disturbances inside, like a bell that had been struck. These observations shed light on the aging process of red stars like this. They gradually lose mass over time and eventually explode as supernovae when their nuclear fusion fuel runs out. The extent of mass loss significantly impacts their fate. Betelgeuse's unusual behavior does not necessarily mean that it will explode. It is still a mystery that experts are trying to understand. The recent surface mass ejection from this amazing star is an unprecedented phenomenon. It has never been observed before, and astronomers are excited about the opportunity to study this novel event in detail. They hope to use instruments like the Hubble Space Telescope and NASA's upcoming Webb Satellite Observatory to observe the ejected material and study its surface characteristics in real time. Fortunately, the fading of Betelgeuse has finally stopped, and it is expected to regain its position as the 10th brightest star in the sky. Betelgeuse shines incredibly bright, about 100,000 times brighter than our sun. Despite being far away, it still catches our attention with its luminosity. But this brilliance comes with a cost. This star burns its fuel rapidly to maintain such a dazzling display, which speeds up its eventual demise. As it consumes its fuel, there will come a point when it completely runs out. When that happens, the star will face an extraordinary fate. It will undergo a catastrophic collapse, squeezed under its tremendous weight. This collapse will trigger an awe-inspiring explosion called a supernova. Betelgeuse will unleash an unimaginable burst of energy during this cosmic spectacle, shining with an intensity far beyond its previous brilliance. It could become as luminous as a full moon, radiating its astonishing glow across the sky. The supernova's radiant light will be so powerful that it might even be visible during daylight, turning our ordinary days into extraordinary visual experiences. However, when exactly this extraordinary event will occur remains a mystery. While it's unlikely to happen within our lifetimes, the precise timing is unknown. It could surprise us today, or it might be delayed for millions of years, adding an element of unpredictability and suspense to the enigmatic nature of the supergiant star. Despite its breathtaking nature, you might be concerned about any potential danger it poses to Earth. But fear not. The Betelgeuse supernova is located at an incredibly safe distance from our planet. It's situated far, far away, much farther than what's needed to keep us out of harm's way. To put it into perspective, a supernova would have to occur within 50 light years to pose any real risk to us humans. But guess what? Betelgeuse is over 10 times farther away than that. It's so distant that its explosive fireworks won't have any direct impact on Earth. Instead of causing destruction, the Betelgeuse supernova will treat us to an astonishing celestial spectacle in the night sky. Picture this, a burst of vibrant colors, like a cosmic firework show, spreading across the vast darkness. It will be a sight to behold, capturing the imaginations of stargazers worldwide. So rest assured that while the Betelgeuse supernova will captivate our senses and leave us in awe, it won't pose any danger to our planet or the life that thrives upon it. It's a cosmic gift, an extraordinary event unfolding in the distance, reminding us of our universe's immense beauty and wonders. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you are still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.